So more and more, we live in a diverse society, both in this uh, in the United States and also globally. And yet, um, even though we're a very diverse nation, we often live in communities with people who are very much like us. So we don't necessarily have the skills or learn the skills at an early age to work across those differences. So our mission is the promotion of social justice through education. And we do that primarily through dialogue. Um, we do that both curricularly and uh, outside of the classroom. Uh, we have a course sequence of about seven courses that students can take um, to learn about the foundations and theories of social inequality and social justice education, meaning that students learn about understanding privilege and oppression in our society, um, issues of difference, stereotyping, and discrimination. They also have an opportunity to lead others in learning about dialogue and building dialogue skills. And some of our courses really emphasize uh, the leadership role of becoming a peer facilitator and then actually being a peer facilitator. We also offer co-curricular opportunities through our Common Ground workshops. Those are one to three hour workshops where students can request, or faculty and staff can request um, workshops where um, students will learn some of these concepts like social identities, like exploring uh, differences and similarities. Um, but they do it in the context of, um, of their peers. So uh, students learned to be facilitators of common ground through an intensive workshop experience or training experience for the weekend and continue training as they occur helping other students these skills as well. I heard about IGR because a lot of my friends, especially my close friends, had always participated in dialogues, uh, specifically dialogues on religion and race. And my friends weren't super social, social justice -y or um, anything like that. One was like a computer science major and the other one was at the business school. But they both talked about how much, how IGR was their favorite course that they'd ever taken and it really opened their eyes. And so I decided to take a training class, see what it was all about. Um, and from like the first day in my training course, um, I absolutely fell in love. I loved everything about it. And I didn't think that like two years later that it would have like as big of an impact on me as it did. Dialogue is a special form of communication that takes into account people's experiences, which often aren't validated, which takes in your identities to ensure good group dynamics. Um, after that course, I immediately did a practicum, so I facilitated white racial identity. And I was really hesitant to do that dialogue because as a white person, I didn't think about my race very often. Um, but it was an amazing learning experience, and as the uh, participants um, learned about themselves and their identity, I learned along with them. Also, as, as the one who was kind of in charge of the project, having to come up with agenda items, having to come up with, with prompts, if talks getting get stalled, having to think on your feet and be flexible with where the conversation can go. It was a big learning experience with, uh, for me, um, but at the same time it, was, it also felt kind of good to be able to uh, put all the skills that I've gained through working in the IGR to, uh, kind of to the test and see where, where a group of critically thinking people can, can push conversations. GR has definitely helped me to grow as an individual, being more conscious and aware of like my standing in society and the way that uh, people treat me as a person. But I always thought about like that about things that would directly affect me. And so when it come, came to things such identities, such as um, sexuality or um, other identities that I just didn't really think about it help me like check my privilege and think like oh well you haven't been thinking about things because the X, Y, and Z you've been benefiting from um, the system so I think it's it's helped me to have a holistic lens. During my training we had a few participants within my training that had very frustrating views um, ones that didn't match up with mine or a lot of people in the room and I think that that um, led me to be able to handle those types of views um, in the sense of 
being with them and being present while also not agreeing with somebody. Um, so searching for understanding rather than searching for a, a counterpoint. They've been leading a lot of dialogues about race. And being white, that is sometimes difficult to do because society blinds us to race. As white individuals, we have to think about it, we can check out from that process. Um, but I've actively and continuously been pushing myself to notice race, to notice how I am perceived, how I act towards others, to notice racism because it does exist and wiping it away or saying it doesn't exist doesn't help. Um, the dialogue has really helped me understand that, um, helped me shape who I am and the way I interact with others. One thing that outside of class and like outside of dialogue that IGLs helped me is being able to talk about these um, difficult subjects with my family, um, specifically my mom. So I was always like raised that if you work hard enough, you can achieve anything you want and that like your identities don't matter, like your childhood doesn't matter um, as long as you, as long as you work hard, like you can achieve anything you want. And, um, well, I, well, I still, I think, like, prescribe to, like, working hard and doing the best that I can. I also realize that there are, like, systems and structures in place that make it extremely more difficult for people with certain identities to get ahead than others. Um, and I think one of the most beneficial things IGR has taught me or has given to me is being able to um, articulate that to my mom and explain it to my mom in a way that she's able to understand and comprehend and we can have really meaningful conversations. So currently I'm a college advisor and I work in a um, low-income, predominantly black high school um, who have to, and these are students who are living a lot of the experiences that we talk about within within like SES dialogues, within race race dialogues, then gender dialogues and the intersections between them. So the, the kids I'm working with are kinda of at this the the fulcrum of this of this um, system that we try to explore within IGR. So there that means they're also dealing with the weight of of the oppression that we talk about and um, they're not necessarily navigating an education, education system that allows them to to explore the fact that they are dealing with all these forces that you know we're kind of talking about at this elite level within ITR. So I try to I try to offer them spaces that they can talk about um, can talk about their environment. In the future, I plan on going to like management and working with other people. So getting a good understanding of where people come from and getting a good understanding of why people may act the way that they do and actually having this this um, training and going through this program of IGR it's, has helped me to get out of my shell and like, get to know people and understand that um, people behave the way that they do just because of the influences that they may have had in their life. Being in community organization, it's caused me to realize that I will be in spaces of different identities and to realize that, realize those dynamics when going in those different spaces and realizing that I will take up too much space sometimes and I need to be checked on that and I need to check myself on that. Um, and also to realize the spaces where I need to listen more than I need to talk and I need to learn more than I need to teach. And so just being aware of everybody in the room, being aware of the people, of people that aren't in the room as well, um, especially being at such a university that where there's a lot, a lot of privilege everywhere. Um, and so just kind of realizing things that we might be missing. Like as my job as college advisor, I might, I might frame how I'm presenting things differently. So for instance, I don't give like, presentations that I'm just like talking at people is we're always having conversations we let the class in, uh, define uh, what college means to them for themselves so um, so that there's not like this unequal dynamic between me and the students um, in the classroom environment so I am definitely taking and I and these are the ability to not command a classroom because that's actually almost like the opposite of what I'm trying to do but the, the ability to to enhance a classroom environment that uh, that gives the students agency and it makes people feel heard 
um, is directly a result from skills that I um, acquire from ITR. For the next year, I have a fellowship and I will be working um, on healthcare policy in California and helping like with the expansion of the Affordable Care Act. And I'm working with like low-income communities of color who have historically not been able to afford health care, not been provided health care, and helping them um, understand the ins and outs of such like complex laws and policies and then taking their concerns and relaying them to the people who are building the state exchanges, like relaying them to the people in, Cal in, in Sacramento who are making these policies because I think it's really important that if we're going to have policies and systems to try and minimize to try and minimize inequality and try to make society more equitable i think that the people low income and people of color need to be at the decision making table so i've always been driven by my parents to be pre med to be, become a doctor because that's you know, what financially is good for a person um, it's also a prestigious job but ever since IGR, I've always been questioning that. I've been questioning why do people go into medicine? I've been questioning why do I want to go into it? Um, I realized through dialogues that there's something greater and bigger out there. I realized that my words have weight and have power. And I've come to question what career I want to pursue just because of that. And these skills, I mean, this is not just something you use in my IGR setting. This is something that goes beyond, something that really sinks deep inside of you and shapes who you are. So I don't think it's something I can just turn off. I cannot turn off anymore my awareness to race, and I don't want to. And I want to continue changing the things um, that I see and the inequalities that I see. So I think that this will become uh, a lifelong journey using dialogue. What's important about the Third Century program is bringing together the Detroit Initiative, Europe, and IGR brings a, a collection of skills uh, that students will be able to fully engage with communities. And I think the IGR's role in that is allowing students to uh, bring their dialogue skills, bring their sense of empathy, um, their language around inequality and understanding differences in communities. And they have the ability and know how to build relationships with others.